today I made a Lego BFG 50 cal. This is a Serbu incorporated weapon. It's chambered in 50 BMG and is bolt action single shot. This I built in actually one morning and it's, I don't know, I don't know really the length, I'd say it's like four feet long. It weighs a good 10 pounds, but Ooh, I built some things for it. It, has, it doesn't have shell ejection. I'm planning on adding one for it soon. But it has a working bolt, you know. And it opens up. I could put in, like, a little bullet. Okay, I missed that. <laughs> put in a little bullet, and then I can just grab it, close it, lock it down. There you go. I got ammo loaded. And thing, I will make a tutorial at 100 subscribers. I'll try to make a tutorial. I'm not going to, like, do a tutorial where I break it down and try to put it back together. Because I will forget how to put it together. And then I will break this permanently. I am going to do try to do an LDD, like a digital tutorial, basically. I'm going to try to learn it. And also at 100 subscribers, I promise one of my YouTubers I have on Discord, I promise her that I would eat grass. So, like, I'll literally take a bite and swallow, like, some grass, you know? <laughs> it's still, there's still some grass outside. It's only fall, so yeah, okay, be quick. I'll, I'll actually eat freaking grass. I'm not even kidding you. Like, I'll literally do it on camera. It'll be a face reveal and a grass eating thing <laughs> yeah but besides that i got a stock that i like it it looks pretty nice it has like the holes in it and i can put it against my shoulder you can see and it actually feels pretty comfortable and the grip location is nice you can like bend your arm realistically or like it's the grip's placement towards from the stock it's it's nice like it's it's it's, it's placed correctly it feels like but then for the scope i also made a reticle like an actual reticle it's not really focusing but you, you can see the reticle at the end. And I have a compensated barrel. That's what this insane amount of line pieces are. <laughs> yeah, but I have the grip, which is completely customly made. It's a sloped grip. It's loosely, it like falls off kind of commonly, like cracks like right on this corner-ish. Not corner, but you know, like right there where my finger is. Like see, it's already kind of coming apart a little. So I'm going to try to redesign that to make it fit. But it's also got the trigger guard, the trigger right here. And the handle's got slopes on it, so it feels comfortable to hold. And recently, actually, I just fixed, because I realized that, like, this slope where, like, the grip is, it connects to the lower receiver, it was too low, so, or, yeah, it's too low, so I kind of made it taller. And I fixed that, so that's better. But this thing, I'm surprised it didn't already break in my hand. I'm holding the entire weight of the freaking gun in that one grip. But the bolt is not a complicated design. It does not have shell ejecting, and there's not an extractor that grabbed that little... Yeah, that little bullet I put in there a while ago is stuck. So, don't mind me. I'm just going to go get a little axle rod piece so I can pull that out from my pile of stuff, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna just... I think I might need a shorter rod. Hey, yo, that's kind of so... I'm joking, all right? No. I can't even get it on. Don't mind my, I'm experiencing technical, technically not technical, technically I'm experiencing difficulties. Okay, you know what? Too short. Time to go find a, or too tall, too long, whatever. This gray one hopefully will work. I feel like I'm not even reviewing the gun anymore. I'm just trying to get the freaking bullet unstuck from the chamber, you know? Oh, I think this might work. I'm just gonna press it in to the back because it's one of those like cylinder pieces. That have the axle hole in the back. Oh, got it. Bro, I just freaking broke it off. Okay. Yeah, don't mind me. You can you, you skip ahead. I don't know, like a minute or so. Hopefully in a minute I'll be done with this. I'm recording this. And I don't really edit in my videos. Because I don't know how to edit my videos. So, yeah, I don't know how long it's going to be until I fix this crap. Okay, no, it doesn't matter. It's fine. I have an idea, though. What if I, um... Put the, the, the piece that I broke off back in, put it back on the bullet, or put it back on. And then what if I just, you know, that worked. Clean my legs for a second, second. Pull that out. There we go. Yeah, yes, the bullet's broken. Okay, yeah, this is a bullet. It's literally like a small little thingy I built in like half a second. But. The scope is not my design. I don't remember the YouTuber, but 
I'll just put it somewhere, 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 sometime. The scope is not my design. The reticle I made design myself, but the rest of the gun besides the scope is completely original. No sort of plagiarism induced. And now, anyway. Yeah, don't mind my room. I actually got it cleaned a few days ago. So. But. You can do some cool loads with this, I guess. Yeah, I'm gonna get that, that bullet stuck again. You cry about it. Okay. See this? Yep, it's stuck. Never coming out. I just got it out. Joke's on you. Alright, yeah. Um, One more thing I want to show you guys. I customly made a bipod. It doesn't fold up like that, but it opens up, which is nice. This is custom too, just so I know. Oh, it's backwards. The it front would be like this, but it can open up, and it goes down like that far. It's actually really secure. Like, you see how I'm pushing? Give me a decent bit of weight. And it's not falling. I've rested the gun like this. It works really well, surprisingly. I built, it's not that special. In fact, I'll, I'll, I'll give it a tutorial for the bipod too. Once I hit 100 subs. I'm 12 away, come on guys. We can do this. 12 away. 12, 12 freaking subscribers away. 12 subscribers is so easy. If pretty much anyone that views this video, if you aren't subscribed, if you subscribe, I can be at 12 subscribers in like, I don't know, a few minutes. I don't know. <laughs> But <laughs> the, the bipod attaches to the bottom of this, and I uh, kind of don't really know. I'm going to pick it up and activate the bipod. Open the bipod with one hand. Oh, well, there. Once again. But you can open up the bipod. Kind of push it, pull it down. And there we go. See? Uh, probably going to end the video here because I got to do something. But this is it. I will make a complete tutorial for this entire gun if i hit 100 subscribers oh yeah and i'll eat grass too but the bipod looks really really nice and it works well you know I can pick up the gun and move it around a bit so yeah um 100 subs and you got a tutorial for the bfg50 and a tutorial on how to chew grass in your mouth properly <laughs> i'm joking all right yeah i actually gotta go now so see y'all later